Hello everybody. In this video I show you how to use a splitter container. I want to uh, divide my screen into two parts, into two containers. One top container and one bottom container. And I want to display different data in it. For this I uh, divided my program in some parts. And first we get some data from the database. Container 1. Uh, data from the table uh, as carrier, container 2, data from the table as pfly. Then we set some references to the CLGUI classes. We set the new splitter container. We get the references from the containers and we set the first SARF table for the top container. And second, we create the SARF table for the second container. Okay, so let's select some data from the database. So I write select asterisk into table it as carrier from as carrier. Second select asterisk into table at data it sp fly okay little typo select um, from sp fly Next, we set the reference to the CL GUI classes. And first the splitter container. So I write data O splitter main type ref to CL GUI splitter container. Next, we set the reference to the top container. So I write data O container top type ref to CL GUI container. This is our top container. Second data O container bottom type ref to CL GUI container. Okay, little typo. Okay. And next we set the splitter main container. O splitter main is new hashtag parent is CL GUI container. Default screen, next parameter is no auto def rock ID dun and air is above true. Next, we define the, the number of the containers. We want uh, two containers, two rows, and one column. Okay. 
So we have two rows and one column, one top container, one bottom container. And next, we get the reference of these uh, new containers. First, con o container top is o split domain. And we call here the method get container. And we set the row and the column. Our top container is row one and column one. Next, the same for the bottom container. O container bottom is O splitter main get container and here we set row 2 and column 1. Okay. So we have our references and next we create a surf table. And for this we uh, create a reference here. We write data o surf top. Type ref2 cl surf table. Next step is we call the factory method. So we write CL surf table factory. And here we have different parameters. First exporting our container. And here we set the container. So I write here O container top. Next, the uh, importing parameter. It's our sarf table. And here we set the sarf table object O sarf. And last, the changing parameter. This is our internal table. And here we set T table is IT as carrier. Okay, this is this internal table with the uh, carriers. And okay, the next are the default settings. Uh, every time when I use a surf table, I have some uh, default settings here. And first I set uh, O surf top, get functions, set all, or up, up, true. Next, I use a function to optimize the columns. And for this, I write all also OSARF top, get columns. And here I use the method set optimize. And I set this up, up, through. The next, I want to set a, a header and here we use the airlines and so I want to set the airline as header. So I use the method get display settings 
and set list header. And we write here airlines. Or airline. Next, I set uh, this striped pattern. So write O sarf top and get display settings. Let's copy this. And here, right, I use the method set striped pattern. And then I set this up, up, true. So we see a lighter and darker rows. Okay, and last, I use a function uh, to select uh, the rows. And I write bar top, get selections. And I use here the method set selection mode. And I write here if sarf c selection mode. And set here row column. Okay. And now let's display the data and I write OSARF top display. Okay. So we have set the data for the first SARF table and for the first container. Let's click on pretty print and check the code. Yeah, it looks good. And now we want to do the same for the bottom container. And for this, we can uh, copy the SARF table code. We have only to change the variables from top to bottom. And we have to change the internal table, the table data. Okay, so let's do this. We copy this code and we paste it here. Okay, and now replace the text from top to bottom and here we we need a it underscore sp fly and next the settings bottom yeah copy this set it here replace replace and replace and here replace okay and we set the new header the flight schedule. Okay, I think this should work. So, and now we have to uh, we have to force the output of the default screen, and for this we right space okay that's pretty brand and activate the code mm, okay looks good let's run the program okay the first container is display is displayed the second not uh, let's have a look uh, okay, I see that the uh, exporting parameter, the container, is top and not bottom. So let's change this. 
and activate and run the program again. Yes, here we see these are our two tables displayed in the first and in the second container. We can change the height here. But we have an empty uh, toolbar here. I want to uh, deactivate this. I don't want to display this, and for this, I use the class CL ABAP list layout. And I call the method suppress toolbar. Okay, let's activate and run the code. Okay, and we see there is no empty toolbar. Okay, uh, the next thing is uh, if we want to use uh, less space for the first container and we need some more space for the second container, we can set here the height with a method and we can we go to the to the splitter container. And I write O splitter main and I set row height and I set here the ID one and the height to thirty percent. ID one is the first container, the top container, and the height is thirty percent. So let's uh, activate and run the code. And here we see there's a new height for the first container and some more space for the second one. Okay, that is one option to show uh, different data in different containers. I hope you like the video. You can use this, uh, for example, to have a parent child relation or a master detail view. Okay. So if you like uh, this video, please subscribe my channel. Write something in the comments if you want. I always uh, like it to read it. And I hope we see us again in some of my next videos. Thank you and goodbye.